Hello, I'm Michael Blevins, the redhead known as RunX. In this quick hit edition of Reducing Friction with RunX, I'm going to share how to transform XML API responses to JSON. If you want to integrate legacy responses at your application boundary, stick around. I was recently asked to help accelerate a team with the proof of concept, also known as a POC. This POC showed how they could integrate a legacy API into their modern application. The team was leveraging Node.js and the legacy API return responses in an XML format. The modern application needed the data in a JSON format for downstream processes. I was able to quickly provide a working POC, and as a result, I'm going to share with you how I did it. This is the first time I'm going to put together a companion blog post to go along with this video. The link is going to be in the description below and it will contain written details about the proof of concept as well as a link to the source and GitHub. Now on to the demo. Okay, I'm going to start this demo off in PowerShell. I'm going to do a mkdir to create a demo directory. Go into that directory, do an x copy of assets and I want to do that now I'll go ahead and open up VS code a new terminal here and I'm going to do a npm init command and what that did is create the npm file here for the package JSON next I'm just going to add a app.js JavaScript file here use a code snippet that I've created and explain a little bit about the file. I'm using an API from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to get a list of models for a specific make. In this case, it's Tesla. The vehicle API does offer a JSON response, but since I'm using it to represent a legacy API, I'll be requesting the XML format response, as you can see here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save this file and go down here and run a node app.js to run that JavaScript. So that response is there as XML. And now what we want to do is install the NPM package that I found that does the XML to JSON. It's a JavaScript package and I'm going to do a save here. Now th this package has got quite a few downloads. It's a very popular package and it is really going to help speed things up as part of this POC. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to do a import, and I'm going to go down here at the bottom, do a convert, and here I'm going to uncomment my convert data. All that did was import the package into this JavaScript file, uncomment this so it would call the new function I added, it's going to use the XML to JS parse and basically parse the string of data. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And since I've saved it, I'm going to do a node app.js. And there you have it. It's that easy. 39 lines of code and you make a call to get a legacy XML response and convert that into a JSON response. I love the fact I was able to find such a great NPM package, averaging just under 10 million weekly downloads. This POC was able to accelerate the development team, and I hope it will be able to help accelerate a project for you in the future. In closing, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this quick hit episode of Reducing Friction with RunX. You can reach out to me in multiple ways, at RunX on Twitter, LinkedIn, or GitHub, at the redhead known as RunX on Facebook or by visiting the contact page on my website, runx.com. Watch out for an upcoming episode where I'll build on this POC to transform the JSON based on a configuration file. Let me know your thoughts or share the friction that you are currently facing in the comments below. And until next time, I'm Michael Blevins. Like the video? Subscribe, hit the bell, all the things. Help me out. Thanks. Peace.
man, I struggled with the outro today. It was a rough one. For making it to the end of this quick hit episode of Redu- oh, God dang. At the redhead known as Rodax on Facebook, or you can visit me and the con- The friction that you're currently facing in the comments below. And until next time- <laughs> Oh God. Until next time, I'm Michael Blevins. Garbage. Let's do one more outro. <laughs> By sharing in the comments below. Or let me know the fic- Let me know your thoughts and share the fiction that you're currently facing in the comments below. Dang it. That was a good one. And we'll start over.